Welcome back to episode 44 of my Stationers Mars playthrough. So you may remember at the end of the last episode, um, the rocket was built, but we realised, or I realised, that we were losing gas out of the hab. Um, so that's a fairly high priority problem to solve. Um, I have a suspicion. I may know where the issue is, but if I do not, then it's a bug. I have reloaded. There is a known bug I have seen reported where individual cells can um, spontaneously uh, think that they're outside when they're not. Um, so what I was just wondering is whether this pipe has burst, um, but it doesn't appear to have done. Um, neither of these. So this one here is fine. It goes through the wall. Uh, I'm going to just try pulling that out just in case. If that deconstructs. No, that one's fine. And I have actually removed that in that vent internally. Um, right. So it's very strange because it's only affecting the greenhouse, which we know is fully sealed. I cannot see any breaches in it anywhere. Um, and I did actually reload the save um, before I quit the game. And it, I tried releasing gas in there from various tanks and the gas just all disappeared into a vacuum, even when those vents were disassembled. Um, so I think it may be a bug, which I know has been reported. I've seen it reported on the uh, Steam forums, um, where a cell um, thinks it's outside when it's not. Uh, it seems to have been fixed by a reload in the doesn't seem to be getting any worse, but I'm just going to try topping up the um, this with a jetpack because I've vented that. Secondly, this will seem a bit mad, but I'm actually going to mark and start topping up my oxygen level. Um, but I'm actually going to try to top up my CO2 tank. which is going to generate me warnings in my suit. But what I want to see, which very quickly before we go in, OK, as the battery ran out on this, I'm start getting problems now because warnings. Pressure low. Right, OK. Um, right, so. I've only got a limited amount of time now because I've got too much gas in here and I can't breathe. Right. Um, I need to go in or I'm going to start to die. There's stuff in there. Cycle that to interior. So what, what I'm wanting to do is vent this. Uh, hello. Right. Okay. So now we've got still falling pressure. Warning. Pressure low. Uh, maybe no, I think we're stabilizing pressure Warning. to be fair. Warning, pressure low. Warning, pressure low. Warning, 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 pressure low. Yeah, okay, I think Warning. that's stabilized. Low. Okay, which is not the behavior Warning. I was seeing Warning. previously. Previously, when low. I did that, all of that gas would disappear Warning. Uh, into. Low. Um, this corner, warning, warning, uh, based warning, on the particle effects, low. but there was no obvious reason for it. Warning, uh, pressure low. No pipes are ruptured, either warning, internally or externally. Warning, I'm now going to attempt to re reassemble low. this warning, vent. Pressure low. Okay, so I'd expect that to warning, drop warning, a bit as it sucks warning, it out because there's an empty low. pipe behind there. But it, it shouldn't warning, drop very far low. before it stops. Continues warning. dropping. We've got warning. a problem. Warning. Pressure low. Still falling. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. We know warning. that pipe is not warning. ruptured. Warning. Pressure low. Ah, but it warning. is Pressure running low. up. Okay. Warning. 
there is a uh, pressure reg further down the line that is still running. So let's shut that off. Let's shut that one off as well. So that part is now isolated completely and there's no air flow in or out. Safer while we're trying to diagnose this problem. Right. Down to pressurise because I don't think too pressurise. Okay. Although well, that's lower, now Warning. I've turned that off, that's Warning. stabilizing. Pressure so I think low. that's okay, because I think what was happening was that that Warning. was then pumping through that yellow regulator at the distance into Warning. there and then effectively Warning. pressurizing Pressure the low. other side of the hab, Warning. which we know Pressure has got low. some residual pressure in it. So this Warning. is now at 3.197 and it's remaining stable. Warning. Pressure so if I'm just going up very slightly. Warning. Okay. Warning. So Warning. the next question is, Pressure what's going low. on through here? Warning. So this is at Pressure 27. Warning. Warning. Pressure low. And this is, okay, this is where my CO2 went, I can see from the uh, percentage in the atmosphere. So, okay, so I'm reassured that I think it was a bug rather than something Warning. I have done. The worry initially was that when I dug out that room down there that I'd actually punctured something. Um, but the pressure down here is actually better. It's lower in here, but it's uh, still substantially higher than it is upstairs. It's clearly not um, falling. No, that's holding steady. So this room is clearly airtight. Close that and let it settle again. This room is clearly airtight. This is even higher, so this is clearly airtight. Yep, that's stable. Okay, so that's all good news. So these sections are definitely airtight. This section I've done nothing to, so it really should still be airtight, and it is. So it's just the original greenhouse, which I have not done anything to, um, suddenly had become non-airtight, um, which is quite strange. Um, I'm going to let this uh, equalise pressures very slightly, not too much. What I will do though is open this. Warning. Warning. Some pressure build up Warning. in here because that was still pressure at nine, low. so that's okay. Warning. Pressure low. It's very hot in here now, so that's Warning. the biggest problem. Warning. Warning. Pressure low. Okay. Warning. Pressure low. Uh. Warning. Warning. So this is Warning. 23. Pressure so this should stabilise at around about 20-ish between the two rooms, would be my guess. Warning. Which is pretty Warning. much where we are at. Warning. It's a bit higher at this end, isn't it? To be fair. Okay. Um. Well, in the absence of being able to Warning. see an actual problem, Warning. Warning. Um, pressure low. everything is clearly still sealed. Um, I've pressure checked low. that several times over. I think Warning. I have to put it down to Warning. some sort Warning. of weird pressure anomaly, low. which is Warning. well, that's what it is really. It's what you get for a game Warning. being in early access, I suppose, Warning. especially when they just don't Warning. massive refactor on it. Low. Anyway, that's fine. Um, in the meantime, let's pressure grab these low. tomatoes and Throw them in Warning. before they decay if Warning. I can get there fast Warning. enough. Low. In you go. Warning. Pressure low. It's not like we're short Warning. of seeds, so I'm, I'm not Warning. too fast. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. I think Warning. I'm just going to compost those. Warning. Warning. Maybe I'll eat these. Pressure In fact, it's some fresh tomatoes. There we go. Very good. Right. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. 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 Pressure low. I suspect low. we could get Warning. in there that there's some Pressure decayed low. food in there from the other, yeah. Warning. 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 Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. I took my head off then. Warning. 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 Pressure low. Warning. Still going to get to that. Pressure low. Right. Okay. Well, Warning. Go. Warning. Warning. Pressure low. Actually, we've got tons of food. Let's just... Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Warning. 
Warning, pressure low. Warning, pressure low. I'm not going to sow any seeds manually in here Warning. for now. Warning, Warning. pressure low. Warning, pressure low. Warning, 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 pressure low. Warning, pressure low. Warning, right. Warning, warning. Okay, so I think low. what I'm going to do. Pressure low. Just get this injected into the system. Warning, warning. So we've got pressure some seeds low. stacked up. Right. Warning, enough. Low. Right, um, I think what I'm going to do warning, is I'm going to warning, focus on getting the rocket warning, working. I'm confident low. that this is not leaking any further now. So, um, actually, before I do, let's just try repowering this system. So, first of all, this one should obviously do nothing. Secondly, that one. That should be allowing some gas into the hub, only into the greenhouse. So what I should see is a Warning. gradual increase Warning. in pressure. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Yeah, Warning. very gradual, Warning. but it is gradually. Warning. A bit is coming in pressure from the pipe. Low. Warning. Yeah. Pressure low. Warning. 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 Pressure low. It's a bit of a trade-off because it's cooling it down, which low. is reducing the pressure, but it should be allowing a small Warning. amount in. There's not Warning. very much air Warning. available pressure in the low. pipe to bring in. Warning. Pressure low. Okay. Yeah, I think that's uh, low. for now. As good as we're going to get. Low. Can I hit that pipe? No, but I'll have to... Warning. Right, I'm going to have to re relay all the uh, floor grates in a minute, but, but there's nothing really coming through that pipe. Whoops. Not what I meant to do. Okay, I think there's nothing coming through that pipe, basically, because we just haven't got any. Um, right, let's uh, go on with re relaying these. Now I've satisfied myself that there's not a pipe leak somewhere. an extra one somewhere. Never mind, that's Warning. fine for now. Warning. Right. Warning. Pressure low. Okay, um, so the low. mixers are running. I think there's just Warning. not Warning. enough nitrogen Warning. now to repressurize. We've got oxygen. Yeah, okay, right, so we just need to go on with the rocket really at this point. Um, okay, so I know what I need to do. Um, so I do need, whoops, a logic switch. Uh, I know what I need to do to get the rocket working, and it's actually very close to being functional. use too much because we've not got much copper left although we're going to have to just go copper mining that's something the rock is not going to do for us but at least if we know it's going to get all of the uh, ices that's a good start Yeah. We 
think uh, in an ideal world I would also have enough to be able to rig up some displays. Um, although I can't immediately remember what those displays are. Let's go over here. Right, so D5 is the recall lever. I know that. It's not aliasing. Right, anyway, that's that lever that I've just placed. Come on. seems to be running so I'm just gonna do that and see if that refreshes it. Oh let's also fix that. Okay so these are going to go to some displays. Um, I think number two looks quite an important display to have which is how much fuel is in there. So let's see how many of these we can build with the very limited resources we have. only going to manage one, but one is better than none. Whoops. Yeah, there's no way that's going further even if I had a couple more. Right. So this is going to be the rocket fuel display. the rocket recall so we can pull that to bring it back. Okay. So that's the fuel. Right, turn that off. I have to leave it on while you're doing that. Right. Okay, let's see whether this is actually going to work. Yes, yes it is. Right, okay, so that's the amount of, uh, hopefully the amount of fuel in the rocket. And what I'm hoping is, it should be as simple as when that gets to required level, the rocket will launch. I think it should be that simple. Um, we'll find out. Okay, so that's going. I could probably turn up the speed on that turbo pump, to be honest. Five times the speed. It's going up pretty quick now. Let's hope we've actually got enough fuel for a rocket launch. I think it needs a Quite a bit, I think it needs about 5,000, but... There we go, right, okay. So while that's doing its thing, there's not much else we can do other than stand and watch. So we would, more productively, go and build some frames. Thank you. 
guess I'll keep looking in that direction in case it just launches. It'd be a shame to miss it. So as soon as we've got enough sheets, uh, I'm just going to print a couple more, so I want to fully fill some of them. We'll go for 12. Uh, how much can, uh, copper have we got left in here? Not much. I was hoping we had quite a lot. I thought we could uh, use that for a bit more cable, although I think we're going to do it anyway, because I think I need cable. Well, after that, I think it's probably... Yeah, go on then, we'll bring him in. Probably time to go mining. The Autodate is slower to print cable than the... Uh, Electronics printer, not unreasonably, since electronics printer is a dedicated electronics device. But since we had a bit in here, I'm just going to print one more. Get me 10 cable. Right, so the fuel has stopped to 2600, so that either means it's full or it means we've run out of fuel and I suspect it means we've run out of fuel um, I should probably put a meter on that pretty much, yes okay we've got hydrogen and oxygen the issue is just the temperature of it so that should be fine that will uh, as long as we don't have a catastrophic power problem between now and then, but... Right, where are we going to put this? I'm just going to build a bit of a gantry. I mean, first off, we want to be able to put in an elevator, really, um, up to that top level, which makes sense to go in that square there. Mostly for visual interest value at this point. Um, right. Let's do some welds. There is a purpose to me building this, it's not just for that bit. Right, 
we should have just done it there. There we go. I can see a bit more of the rock in now. That was the point of it. Um, right. Okay, it also does look a bit more like a proper rocket launch station. I'm going to pull this lever anyway to see whether that does anything. I don't think that'll launch it. I think that does the exact opposite. Yeah. Let's close that then. Right. So, um, we're now slightly at the mercy of needing more cold gas. Um, so, I mean, I guess we could just go and mine some more. oxide right here first of all started to come up. Go find some volatiles. Hopefully, there's some not too far away. Oh, there's some. get the rocket launch the first time we shouldn't run out of gas for a while well ever actually as long as it's working properly so that will be helpful um, and then I can just concentrate on what else we need Look, there's a nice spot isn't it right there down 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 
So I'll grab some more copper. It does take a lot longer without any yield mod on. But uh, grab as much stuff as I can get while I'm here, to be honest. I'll grab some more coal since it's right where we are. And also, it just makes sense because without any fuel, the gas uh, fuel generator is clearly not going to burn for very long. So we're going to burn more coal to keep the lights on. Let's see if we completely run out of power before we've got the uh, rocket launched. We're not going to have any more launching happening. So, oops. the ice crusher for everything. Even if you automate it, it's really long time to melt a stack one at a time. Right. 
see how this is looking over here. That's really hot. Why is that so hot? Oh, because we've got loads of hot nitrous oxide pollutant. Ah, I think these filters might have expired. That one certainly has. So is that one. That's the problem. Well, it's part of the problem. It's not the only problem, but... I need to set up some monitoring for that. That's another job. I don't know whether any of the other filters are going to need replacing. No, that's going to make too many. Stop. Too slow. Okay. Just screw it up like that then. That's fine. Right, let's get this dealt with. I'm going to switch this for one, this is where mediums would be used, for one medium pollutant and one medium nitrous oxide. I'm just going to dump both of those. Arguably I could make use of the nitrous oxide, but it's going to need iron. Yep. Plus I didn't go for medium anyway, did I? stopped going off so that suggests we've managed to get some pressure back in the greenhouse which is a good start if I want it to. No, it's not happy. And maybe that needs to be colder. Maybe that was... I can't remember what temperature thresholds we set. Anyway, right. Opting for O2 filters. It's okay. That's toast. That's still good. Those have just changed. Okay. one as well, that one's toast. So once we've got these filters in place, that's a start. Right, whilst we're waiting, I can see if I can buy anything from this guy, or at least sell him some more pumpkin soup. Go and buy the pumpkin soup. 
Uh, right. I don't think he's got anything particularly we want to buy, though. We might as well do that. Send him on his merry way. in there. That one in there. Right, okay, so we should at least be okay for filters for a while. What is the issue here? Surely it's cold enough. Maybe it's got to be below zero. Well, that's got to be below ten, I think. I think that was what it was. Right, okay. Oh well. Let's just get this crushed anyway. So that's really cold now. It's coming down even further. But lots of it anyway, that's good news. Just got to... Slightly tempted, more than slightly tempted to override that chip actually. Uh, it's a sort of mistake that I can uh, see myself forgetting to uh, fix later. Uh, where is the mixer chip? I can't remember which one of these it's under. Maybe this one. I'm confident that that's quite cool enough and we do need fuel. Did not take very long to empty, did it? Still quite a lot of uh, O2. Right, okay, so let's turn that back on so we don't forget about it. Right. generator to fire up anyway. Yep, thought I heard the rumble of it. Okay, that's good. We've still got power, so we're okay for now. Right, okay, I shall go and see the state this rocket's in then. Hopefully it might be managed to get some more fuel in there. 5,040. Okay. I don't know how much it needs, but that feels like quite a lot of fuel. Presumably not enough though, or it would have launched. I think it needs 6,000. I have a feeling in the back of my mind. So the next thing to do is just check the state of this. Okay, that's got stuff left to grind, so that will generate a bit more hydrogen. Off. Probably should have done a countdown for that. Didn't actually expect it would launch. OK, 
Okay, that's good news. Right, you can see its fuel going down as it flies. Okay, look at that. I think as long as we leave that lever in that position, it will uh, land, unload, and relaunch. And that's the deal. And obviously, it's going to bring back a load of ice, um, which hopefully the melt room will cope with um, and sort us out. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to go and see how we're looking for the atmosphere in here. I need water anyway. Okay, so we've got very healthy pressure in here now, so I think that was some sort of strange bug. Um, it has wasted an awful lot of our air. Um, but I think we're okay. whatever that weird glitch was, it's now solved. Um, throw them in there, and I think if I open this we're going to find actually... Yeah, it's going to suck stuff through here. Oh! Yeah, great. Just what I wanted. Food in the elevator. Okay. Let's close that again. So I'm going to go outside and I'm going to re-enable the rest of the atmospherics. Unless what had happened was we just had got too much backed up. No, because it was only volatiles that got backed up in here. Uh, no, it was nitrogen. That was the fix. It was not a glitch at all. I had all the nitrogen was effectively locked up in that tank because these filters had expired. I think. No, because I fitted. Two. No, I fitted them there. I don't know what was going on. It's very strange. I need to keep an eye on that. I no, it wasn't that, because one of these filters was still going. I took one, and I took both of those. I think I'll have to watch the video back again now. I'm second-guessing myself. You'll probably be screaming at the screen at this point, saying, No, it was that. Anyway, um, it could have even just been that the pressure was uh, and temperature was too high in here, um, and that we weren't processing it efficiently. Anyway, it does seem to now be under control. Um, which is good. We like under control. Uh, right, okay, so let me just... We've even got a bit of spare nitrogen in there. Okay, that's encouraging. Right, so the next thing to do... next thing to do is going to be see whether we know it's copper one still quite a lot of gold quite a lot of iron a little bit of lead tons and tons of silver having not been able to find silver at the start we've known so much silver um, but only one copper so I think it's copper mining time whether we like it or not Not least because we haven't made one this game, and it's just worth uh, building one. So if you haven't seen one before, you can uh, see how it looks. Um, so it's called a small auto miner. Auto miner small, sorry. It needs electrum and invar. Uh, we've got electrum, but I'm not sure we've got any more invar pre-mixed. Uh, 
constant tap, but it's tiny. I'm going to eject that anyway. No. Okay. No, it's not even enough electrum by one. Got electrum in here. Yes, we have. We haven't got any in bar in there, and I don't imagine for a moment we've got any in here. Oh, we actually have. How strange. I don't know why we'd have any in here. There's nothing in here that uses it, I don't think. Anyway, well, that's fine. We'll uh, eject the uh, silicon. Can come out. Solder. Invar. roll off now. Right, and we had some electrum left in here. Right, that's going to take ages to come out. do that then. One, two, minus small. Now we need various bits to make that actually work. Yeah, no, it's fine. And we may not have enough materials to make those bits, but, you know, it's worth a try. So, uh, what do we need for the auto miner? I know we need electronics parts, but I think we only need one. Three, uh, three iron sheets, three electronic parts, four steel sheets. Okay, so I think that's fine. We can do that. Um, yeah, we've got enough. what it will need is enough cable to actually connect it up to something, which is the next problem. Seriously, we had enough for two. Oh. Right, okay, well we've got copper, we'll need the rest of that anyway. Is that this is going to eject stuff. I need some shoots to catch it. Shut that and let it 
let it come back. At least I think that's how that works. Fueling immediately, which is great to see. In fact, I'm gonna do that, and I want to see if these are. Yeah, well, that's definitely got something going on in there, so that's good news. this. Okay, okay, whatever was in there has melted. I thought I might get to see how much it had delivered, but I uh, don't think we're going to get to see that. Although you can hear this firing rapidly, so that tells us there's quite a lot coming through. I think it's coming through as individual one stacks rather than fifties, uh, but that's okay. Right, let's go back to what we were doing here. So, can I put the auto miner somewhere about in here? Actually, I think it will mine out. I don't know. I wanted to mine out both of those copper veins and the coal, ideally. So, uh, let's try it about here somewhere. So, obviously, the first thing we need to do is to place it. both, they're just too far apart. There's more copper there, uh, on the other hand, I think it probably makes sense to do this. Probably, oh, it's too close. Is it too close? Oh, it's, we've got building underneath there, haven't we? Yes. Right, okay, well that answers that then. We'll place it here. Okay, um, what tools do we need? Probably a welding torch, bound to be, isn't it? Oh yeah, oh, that was the right thing to weld. Uh, iron sheets. Okay, that's actually not too bad because it's so close. This is not going to be a, a long-term permanent structure, so I'm just going to wire it in and then get it going. Um, reason being, once it mines this spot, we'll have to rip it out and uh, make it mine a different spot. And I, that's my criticism, really, of these, is that they only mine a sort of two-by-two two area, and then you've got to rip them up and move them, which is a bit of a hassle, to say the least. Um, plus, they leave you with a massive great hole all the way down to bedrock level. Um, but hey, there we go. Um, oh, there goes the rocket again. Okay, so I think we can safely say the automation is working on the rocket, which is great to see. Um, so we'll just leave that happening in the background. Um, and that should sort our ISIS out. And then I guess the next question is, do we build a second rocket that's doing the same for ore? Well, you know the answer is going to be yes. Um, it's more a question of... Uh, let's just get this over here. More a question of when do we do that? Uh, whether I do that straight away or not. Right, let's turn that on. And if I get onto the gantry here and press the button, you'll see that the auto miner will power up. And start chewing up the rock. And what happens is it will load any ore it finds into that drill head. You'll see that drill head just goes round and down and round and down um, until it gets to a certain point and then it will return 
drop it off. The good thing is what it does is exposes anything in the walls of that as well that we can then obviously identify but you can see it's not a very large area that it actually mines before you have to move it again. There we go, that's now coming back up and then that will drop those off and they'll obviously come out at the end here. So we need to uh, really feed these into the sorting system, which is why I need more shoots. But so it's a starting point. Um, let's get some more shoots made. So if I connect that up, hopefully we'll have some more copper coming through quite soon. If I connect that up, obviously then it's fully automatic um, and we can just leave that minor mining until it finishes that square it's in. Um, the problem is every time I move it, I'll have to rebuild all of the chutes and all of the cables which is obviously a little bit tedious. Um, okay. um, however, that's what it is. Um, we need to actually get it to come in over here um, because of course it could be mining ice as well. routing but there we go it's what it is um, I'll change that one now to be a joint otherwise as I did before otherwise oh, that was not what I wanted to do that is not going to go end particularly well is it uh, actually to be fair it should end up inside there because it should count as it's not anything else I hope I guess we'll find out won't we if it blocks the whole system up um, could be fun See, once we get this going, you can have a high degree of automation. Imagine if we then also had mining rockets running for um, salvage and for ore. Okay, well, I suppose that's one, more, one place to store it. get to a stage where uh, your base is doing your mining for you once you've uh, got the ability to build. Shut this up. Multiple rockets. At which point presumably the base no longer needs a human anyway, so uh, we are then redundant. Um, that's the area where the game needs more development, I think, which is around the end game, because once you've built the base to a certain level, it's kind of the thing to do is to go and start again on another world and try and build a base there. Um, but, you know, there's some interesting challenges that you can set um, for yourself, so, you know, perhaps you, you say, okay, fine, so now we've got the uh, essentials built, we now need to build a base large enough to uh, accommodate a hundred colonists or something um, and uh, get on with that if you want to. I don't know how much you can build before the game crashes of course. I mean that might be a ridiculous challenge but um, you know you can do things like that. Um, I'm hoping to see a bit more reason to travel and it's a subject I've touched on a number of times in these videos but I do think that if we had obviously the uh, it needs to be a, a small amount of essential or very low density across the uh, the surface because otherwise it's very difficult at the start but if we had much larger veins that did not deplete so quickly that were geographically spread it would actually create a cause to build those miners and take them somewhere um, and then go back to periodically pick up the service because it would not be efficient obviously to have a shoot network all the way across the planet so 
um, you know, you could have a, a situation potentially where um, actually what's happening is you've got a series of remote bases each mining different minerals um, and they need to be fully automated to be able to mine and store that um, while you're away and then you just periodically show up to uh, empty the empty the hopper as it were um, but I think there's a few things that need to be done to make that um, really work and, and that may not be the direction the devs want to take the game but um, I think that would be an interesting concept it would give you more reason to travel and it would also have a higher degree of, sort of realism because obviously in reality whilst you can gather a lot of metals and minerals um, just from the crust of a planet there's clearly going to be concentrations otherwise we wouldn't have mines uh, all right let's That's my two penneth anyway. Um, right, let's. Uh, I think the next challenge is likely to be iron at this rate. We're getting through it at quite a rate. I think we've got quite a bit left, but. Right, we need to. Oh, there we go. We need to go in and uh, consume something shortly. Um, question is can I do enough to join those shoots up before I do? I don't really just want to leave that going forever. Ah, oh, okay. Right. So that's going to go this way. Inflicted because I turned the jetpack up during that storm. Ah, I've got that lined up slightly wrong, haven't I? Oh, one spare. Right. Taken that out. Right. Um, okay, we're all good other than the need for immediate food and drink. That's okay. We can fix that. Right, okay. I think we've got a decent crop going on again now. Our food growing worries were very, very short lived. Um, and we're back to our previous problem of we've got more food than we could possibly ever eat. Um, let's do that, let's do that. Uh, should we have, yeah, let's have some canned french fries for a change. Look at that. They don't last as long, do they? Um, and water. Much better. You see, this is now yielding far higher because I've used a fertilizer on it. So I'm getting six off each of these instead of two. The actual um, effect of the fertilizer depends on what went into making it. Um, biomass food or decayed food all have different effects. Some make it grow faster, some create higher yield. Um, right, we have 
got a lot of soybeans here. Should have automated that. Okay, so I'm 60 of them there. like with a couple of them running. Definitely. Okay, right. Um, I still got issues there, but never mind. Get in there. Didn't seem to jam it up when I threw seeds in, so I'm thinking that that might not be an entirely bad idea for reducing the seed population in here. Amazing throw, depending on which way you look at it. Right, there we are. We'll send them off there. See what that does, if anything. If nothing else, it gets rid of them. We've got too many. Right. Okay, so. We've now got two different sorts of automated mining going on. I've got Electrum in there as well. I didn't realise we had so much of it. Right. Um, so we've obviously got the rocket over here, which is uh, ice mining, and the advantage of that is that that's generating more fuel for more rockets. And over here we've got the auto miner, which I think may have reached the bottom. Don't look down. Yeah, that is complete. So this is now completely done. There's nothing else we can do that other than dismantle and move it. So you can see it was quite a short-lived construction for all the faff of connecting all those chutes, which is why I don't use it awfully much, I'll be honest. Um, the advantage is, on the way down, we can see a number of veins. This has gone all the way down here. Um, so if you haven't yet unlocked the goggles, it's obviously really useful. Um, but even if you have, it's kind of useful to be able to get down here and see what's buried a bit deeper. Um, but you'll see, you know, it's kind of cut halfway through that vein of iron there, but actually I'm still going to have to go in and dig it all out manually. Um, so that's why I don't use it very much. Uh, There's quite a lot of... I mean, it's quite good to set this thing up, but the actual faff of connecting the uh, chutes and stuff, I've only just connected it and it's basically finished already and uh, we don't still don't have any copper ingots in there so it wasn't that effective um, and that's all there is um, I mean I can send it again but I don't think it will do anything no just repeating the same pattern so there we go um, and in the meantime we've got a massive great hole that we could accidentally fall down in a rover or something, so we must be careful. This is useful though, so I'll take this. Stack of copper. 
we'll top up the solid generator though while we're here. Okay, it's got a reasonable stack there. That's good to see. Um, yeah, they're okay. They're not great, are they, in terms of charge, but they're okay. Right, which does remind me, I was going to make a logic chip and take it inside. So I'm going to at least make it now. And then hopefully next time I go inside, I'll be like, ah, there's that logic chip I was going to use. Because we need to calculate the percentage charge, or I wanted to calculate the percentage charge of the batteries. And I thought that would be useful. We've got, I think, both halves of the calculation available, but we need a division. Right. Okay, that might be a... Uh, place to end this episode to be honest we have achieved quite a lot um, a bit of uh, automated surface mining more importantly and more impressively we have our very own personal space rocket this looking okay so we've definitely got some pressure in the uh, left hand side it's uh, oh goodness we've got loads in there we may have just opened Pandora's box by letting pressure into that but let's hope not um, but you can see how long that would have taken to melt um, given only looked briefly, but there were clearly a lot of stacks in there. Now they're probably not 50 stacks, um, and by that I mean they're almost certainly not. I could add a stacker to the end actually, couldn't I? Uh, there's probably no particular value in doing that. They'll melt faster in small stacks. 50 stacks of one will melt 50 times faster than one stack of 50, to be fair, so that is fair. Um, I'm not sure why this, uh, I am sure why this is not venting, and it's not venting because it's designed not to below 10 degrees, but I'm going to change that threshold. I think we'll be fine with that. Oops, helps if you import the code before you try and edit it, doesn't it? Um, right, so... I think we'll let's make it five degrees so uh, that was a bit too cold how it was but um, just thinking whether there is a neat way to do this to say if it is on the if it's on the hydrogen side so at that point if R nine is zero probably is um so let's what have we got left as an extra variable uh six i've used and not until down there that's okay um, so I could say S E Q R six R nine zero and if I say or R four R four R six or it's the H two side because we don't care about the minimum temperature on That one. We might care about it being above minus ten, but we don't don't care about it being. Ah, uh, wait, that's the under. I've done that the wrong way around, haven't I? Under twenty. Over ten. Done that in the wrong place. That was a lucky catch.
Uh, oh, actually that doesn't work there because that's already been compounded with these because it's already an and, and, and. We don't want to say all these things are true or if it's got the hydrogen side just bent it anyway. Because um, we do need that condition and we do need that condition. I think I'm just going to cancel those edits. I think we're just going to stick with them as they were. To be fair, that's fully evacuated now anyway, because that vent was on. What I'm not sure about is why this side is not. Working. Quite strange. So that, that vent should be off now. Yes, it is. Good, okay. Let me seal that. Yeah, lots of small stacks. Nonetheless. Okay, well, you know the solution. To be ready to run. Okay, we've now got some pressure on there. I don't know why the temperature's not rising though. The temp is the the heater's on. Why is the temperature not rising? That makes no sense. Temperature is not rising in either of those. But there is pressure. It should be rising. Strange. Okay, well I'm not risking an explosion for it. some of it through the crusher I guess. Maybe the crusher is a good solution after all. Maybe I should just feed the crusher constantly. It's still frustrating. I don't know what's going on. Why it's not heating up. Temperatures are not moving. It's really odd. Okay, well, let's not worry too much about that. Did say we were about to call it a day, so let's start solving another mystery. But in the meantime, you can see that the uh, rocket is uh, part fueled. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, probably ready to go again. Um, I don't know whether I can force a lift off, but let's see if I can. Three, two, one. Not ignition. Okay. Well, that didn't quite work, but never mind. Um, right, I'm going to lay some more lights. I'll connect these lights rather. For extra cinematic effect. One too few. Oh well. A bit more light on it anyway. Well, there we go. I think that's all we're going to get until that uh, hydrogen melts. So, until then, that is it for this episode. Oh, there we go. Not quite. going up. I don't know whether it's going to go up fast enough. 
This feels like a dumb way to die, to be fair. Um, I think it's probably somewhat suicidal. I'm not going to do that. Um, maybe that's my 250 subscriber video. Um, if you haven't seen my 100, I recommend you watch it, if only because um, I break the game. Anyway, that is it for this episode. I'm going to go inside so that I am ready to whoa, get hit by seeds, uh, ready to start the next episode, watered and fed. Um, let's do that. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I'm pleased that we've managed to get as far as the rocket. Um, and I look forward to many more launches over the future episodes and a second rocket soon. I think that would be well worth investing some resources in and have a second one that is mining. I mean, obviously we could modify this one to add mineral mining as well, but uh, I kind of like the idea of having different rockets mining different things because then each one can get larger loads. There we go, and that feels like a great time to end the episode. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, um, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Um, if you have any comments, I do try and answer them. Um, and uh, please make sure you give the video a like and maybe even a share, because uh, the more people that see it, the more people will discover Stationeers, which um, hopefully you agree with me is a fantastic game that will keep anyone amused for many hours. Until next time, I hope to see you on the next video.